I've been using this tool for one whole year. And now I'm ready to tell you everything I've learned. It's no secret that I'm a fan of DeWalt tools, but I'm going to put that aside to give you the true pros and cons of this barrel grip jigsaw. I'm gonna show you 10 features that I like and five that I do not. And I have uncovered something about this DeWalt jigsaw that you will not find on any other video on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet. So stick around because that's coming up. And at the end, I'm gonna guide you to a special jigsaw treat. So let's get into it. Pro number one, variable speed dial and not a variable speed trigger. This allows for consistent customized speed control up to 3,200 strokes per minute. You can easily change the speed with your pinky while cutting. Some people have complained about this feature because they prefer to use their trigger finger to change the speed. The variable speed trigger control is more common on the D-handle type of jigsaws that most people are familiar with, so it really comes down to preference. If you don't like the dial, then you might consider this to be a con and not a pro. Pro number two, brushless motor. Why is this important? Just know that the brushless motor generates no friction in the motor, thus staying cooler. When a motor doesn't overheat, it lasts longer and provides a better performance. This tool is stamped with an XR. What does that mean? XR stands for extended runtime or extreme runtime. If it is stamped on the tool, then it's DeWalt's way of saying it is brushless. Like I said earlier, brushless motors last longer than brushed motors. Pro number three, keyless T-shank blade changes with an all metal action lever. If your jigsaw has a U-shaped blade that requires a tool to change your blade, then pause this video right now grab your jigsaw and quickly file it in the trash can. Then come back and finish watching this video. By the end of this review, you will know what jigsaw to buy, then waste no time buying it. This latch feels heavy duty and well manufactured. I like my women like I like my blade changes, fast and easy. Wait a minute, I, I don't think that came out quite well. Just pull the lever, the blade comes out without friction, and the new blade goes in nice and smooth. Just how I like my women. Yeah, nice and smooth. One suggestion I would like to impress upon the DeWalt tool engineers, make the lever click and stay open so you can change the blade without having to set the tool down. Then we could go from fast to super fast blade changes. Pro number four. The blade isn't ejected from the blade action when the lever is opened. Some jigsaw's blade action flings the blade out to land who knows where, wasting your time on your hands and knees looking for the blade underneath who knows what. This is a small but very smart feature that is often overlooked. The popular spring action blade ejection is often viewed as a pro when it is actually a con. Pro number five, dust blower that is integrated behind the blade. You don't have to worry about the sawdust bulking up along your cut line. The dust blower clears the line of sight while cutting. Speaking of dust, DeWalt makes a dust chute that connects to a vacuum hose for dust collection. I didn't get one because it is not very common to use dust collection on a jigsaw, but if you're interested, I will leave a link in the description so you can easily purchase a dust chute adapter for yourself. Pro number six, an all metal Tula shoe bevel with bevel markings at 0, 15, 30, and 45 degrees, and positive stops at 0 and 45 degrees. The versatility to make 45 degree cuts with confidence and accuracy is a must. Pro number seven, accurate cuts with tight turns. Of course, the size of the blade will determine the radius of the turn, but this jigsaw has very low vibration when cutting, even at high speeds. I'm gonna do a curve cut with a standard blade, and then I'm gonna do a curve cut with a scroll blade, just to get an idea of what its capability is.
That's not too bad. That's a pretty good curve, and I don't see much blade deflection. Maybe in this area a little bit, it slopes a little bit this way. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna put a scroll blade on and see what it can do. Now I gotta say it's a pretty tight turn. So with the scroll blade, it did really well. There is very little blade deflection. So when I mean by blade deflection is as you're turning, it's curving this way. So you don't get that 90 degree angle cut off. Just a slight bit. Anytime you're using a jigsaw and you're really pushing it to the limits, you're gonna have that blade deflect a little bit. But that's pretty darn good and I'm pretty happy with the results. One of the great things about this saw that I love is the low vibration. And while I'm sawing, I can use this grip right here and without turning the blade off, I can actually switch positions and be able to keep that still right where I'm cutting. That's because of the barrel grip, I believe. Now I'm sure you can do the other ones, but this, because there's so many places to put your hands, makes for a great, easy to use tool. Let's do a vibration test. I'm gonna turn this on with no blade resting on this wood. I want you to see how little it moves. It'll move, but how little and how much? Here we go. Doesn't take much, one finger just to keep it still. That's great low vibration, I really like it. Pro number eight, a very well balanced tool. As it stands alone, this jigsaw will not tip backwards, even with a battery on it. Other demonstrations I've researched have shown that even the largest battery, which is the Flexvolt 2060 at 2.2 pounds, this jigsaw will only ever so slightly rock. For a barrel grip jigsaw, I consider that to be impressive. Pro number nine, ambidextrous. Others would argue that because the on-off switch is located only on one side, then this tool is for right-handers only. I would disagree. Yes, the on-off switch is easily accessible for the thumb of a right-hander, but for a lefty, it is just as easy to reach with the index finger. Pro number 10, bilateral and bright LED lights. There is an LED light on both sides of the blade directed at a 90 degree angle which illuminates your cut line allowing you to easily follow your intended path. Let me give you a bonus pro, the orbital action lever. It has four settings and all the cuts I've been doing through this demonstration have been on the highest setting. On the lowest setting, you're gonna get the smoothest cut where the blade is literally just going up and down. But as you progress through these stages, it has a bit of an orbital action. So not only is it going up and down, but it's moving forward, allowing you to drive it. For the rougher cuts that don't need to look pretty, that's a great option to use. And as you see here, it's a pretty rough cut. But let me show you what it can do on the smoothest setting. This cut is so smooth on that setting. Compare that to this cut, it's pretty rough. So it all depends on the purpose that you need it for. There you go, that's the difference between the rough cut orbital and the smooth cut non-orbital. Con number one, the shoe bevel lever is tension tightened only. The hex bolt underneath the shoe that tightens the bevel lever will slowly come loose the more you open and close the lever. I often experienced starting a cut and realized the lever came loose and I made a cut that was not locked at zero degrees. Nothing could be more frustrating than this. My advice to DeWalt is to fix this by making a lever that has a click and locking mechanism so you know it won't come loose. Also, I really feel there is room to make a positive stops at 15 and 30 degree bevels. Any cut that is not 45 or zero degrees is a variance of potential inaccuracy. I agree it is not typical to use a jigsaw for this kind of precision and I'm not counting this as a con. But if DeWalt makes this slight adjustment in the next design, then it is a feature that would elevate it even more past the competition. Con number two. When doing 45 degree cuts, the blade cuts into the shoe cover. Not by much, but it does mar it. The shoe cover is there for a reason, which is to provide a smooth surface 
to protect your work surface. This seems like a design flaw that can easily be fixed. Con number three. The LED lights are blinding if you are cutting upside down. There is no way to turn off the lights when using the saw unless you jam it with a screwdriver and break the bulbs or carefully apply some type of removable putty over the bulbs for a less permanent fix. Cutting upside down might be your thing if you use the saw to do coping. And there is a coping attachment that you can put on this saw. This con doesn't affect me personally, but I know there are many that have complained about it. Con number four, the anti-splinter insert is fragile, made of plastic, falls out easily, and any blade deflection will damage it. This little add-on is actually kind of nice when you're trying to follow a cut line because it has a really cool pointed guide at the tip. And I like using it for that, but ultimately it is a pain and poorly engineered. If you are looking to reduce splintering and tear out, there are a variety of other ways to prevent this that are likely more effective. And con number five, the blade release latch may come loose if you are backing up the saw. If you are doing approach cuts on a tight circle, the latch may open and the blade appears to be at risk of coming loose. I just gave you 10 reasons why you should buy this jigsaw. And I also gave you five reasons to think about why you might not want to buy this jigsaw or at least things to be cautious about. But before I give you my final analysis about this jigsaw, in the beginning of the video, I promised I was going to give you something that you weren't going to find anywhere else. When I sat down to do this review and went top to bottom, head to toe, all through the manual about everything I could learn about this. I realized there was something right in front of me the whole time that I never even noticed. I found these slots in the front of the shoe and a threaded insert right here. And I thought to myself, how did I miss this? And does anybody else know about this? So I set out on a quest to figure it out. I went to message boards. I went to DeWalt.com. I went to toolservicesnet.com. I went to everything you could think of. I went through every YouTube video that was reviewing this jigsaw to find out the answer. Now I thought if DeWalt made this tool with two slots and a threaded insert for some type of jig or attachment, then they obviously sell something that goes with it. And it really looks like something where you would have a circle cutting jig or a straight edge guide to help cut better cuts. And so I sent on a quest to find it. Well. Eventually I found the answer and I'm probably going to make a video about that whole experience and some really valuable lessons on de dealing with DeWalt customer service, but they didn't even know the answer. They had to go figure out the answer and they finally got back to me. And when they did, they sent me this. This is a straight edge guide. It comes with this knob with a threaded screw and also a spring. I'm going to show you how this works and also I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can purchase this yourself as well as every other accessory that goes with this jigsaw. This straight edge guide is actually a Black & Decker straight edge guide. It is not a DeWalt product but the same company that owns Black & Decker owns DeWalt so in by default, it's sort of a DeWalt straight edge guide. So keep that in mind. There is no DWS whatever number that goes along with this guide. Let me show you how it goes on. So you slide it in the slots, edge down, as far as you like. Spring goes in there, and there's a little hole. You just thread it on in. And you can actually just leave this on at all times, and this will come in and out, and then you just Put it down to tighten it. So I'm using this for the very first time. I've never used it before. I'm using it now. So we're going to cut off a piece. Let me get a blade. I got my battery, my blade, my safety glasses. Let's see how this works. Now there's no measuring on here, so you have to do pre-measuring, but we're just going to cut a piece and see how it glides. Had it on the orbital setting, so it's a bit of a rough cut, but I really like the way it felt. You really got to pay attention to where this is, not to do this or not, and it gives you a really good guide. So if you just measure and cut your line and line it right up, it should work really, really well. But guess what? There's a bonus feature on this. You see these two holes right here? If you flip it around, you could use it as a circle cutting jig. Let's cut a circle.
So when it comes to cutting circles with this straight edge guide, I was not impressed. It's probably not something you wanna do. There are other ways to cut circles and I would say do it for that. But for using it as a straight edge guide, I think it's kind of nice. It's not perfect. It could be bigger. There could be measurements on here. But this is what DeWalt has to offer. So if you're wondering what fits in your jigsaw, this is it. This is what fits in this jigsaw as well as the D handle. And the older models as well is what DeWalt tells me. When it came to cutting a two and a half radius circle, there was too much blade deflection. When I did the five inch radius circle, there was even more blade deflection. I used a scroll cutting blade, which I thought would be the appropriate blade to use when you're doing curve cuts, but it didn't work so well. So I don't really recommend this for cutting circles. I wanna give you my final analysis about this barrel grip jigsaw. Despite the five things that I found about that I don't really like, I have to say, I really like this jigsaw overall. I highly recommend it. I think it cuts great. I love the barrel grip. I love the different positions I can use it as I'm holding. I love the accuracy of cutting. I really like this little added feature they have in the front, even though it's hard to find that straight edge guide. But overall, I love it. If you like this jigsaw, if you're thinking about getting it, if you have a jigsaw, then I have a treat for you. I want you to click on this video right here where I make a really cool French clip tool holder, one of a kind with many features on it like you'll never expect. So click on that and we'll see you on the next video.